Good day and welcome to the Mercedes W123 channel. On today's video, we will do a conversion, a glow plug conversion from the old style to the newer style. I will tend to believe that if you need to make that change on your vehicle, it will be because your car will be an 1981 or before okay uh, why i'm saying that is because those two uh 300d uh, the two are 1981 but this one has the old, old style and this one has the newer style so let me show you the difference at the same time i would like to remind you that if you want to help that channel you can do so there's a link on the description of the video and whatever you bring me this helped me buying new parts and then make newer video that in turn help you okay so if you want to help that channel please do so let me now show you the difference as you see here you've got the older version you see it's held by some kind of um, aluminium uh, wires this is then the the newest one huh? uh, and here obviously you don't have that uh, aluminium uh, wiring and this is just the cables as normal before to start anything we're gonna disconnect the battery to start i will strongly advise you to remove all the fuel lines uh, because it's it's gonna be so much easier to have access so for this you will remove them all on top of the injectors it's a number 17 and you will remove them as well at the bottom on the ignition pump okay you will have also a bracket to remove here it's a number eight if i'm not mistaken okay and then you will be able to remove the fuel line it is possible that you know on the accelerator you've got like two suspension uh, you might have to uh, remove them as well to have easy access now using a spanner of eight we're gonna uh, remove all the bolts on the glow plugs okay so we'll remove the five or four depending on your car and then we'll remove everything that's fitted on it now that all the connections are removed we're gonna remove the glow plugs for that we use a number 21 we place it inside and we take it off if it's a bit hard what you do you use two spanner huh? you clip one into the other you make a bit of pressure and it comes immediately okay that's everything out now and in case you want to place it back on the car and you wonder in which order well this goes towards the radiator and this goes toward the interior of the car now which one is placed where uh, listen uh, for instance this you see it's a small one so it goes at the top of the plug this one is large it goes inside so obviously when you see that you know this goes on top okay and this on top you see so you can't get wrong if you if you work it out a little bit you will find out okay so this for instance I will keep it huh? I will not throw it away just in case maybe one day I want to sell the car or stuff like that and the new owner wants to revert which I doubt uh, I will keep it on the car for conversion what we will need now obviously new glow plugs and huh? the newer style I will give you as usual the reference number on the video maybe more but that's the one I've got okay we will need some uh, ring terminals uh, insulated ones and we will need obviously a cable to join them I've chosen a 10 millimeter one maybe it's a bit thick uh, it's for you to choose okay so now we'll cut it we'll prepare it and we'll mount it on the car we will now have to cut these this cable uh, in order to replace this so what length are we gonna be uh, we're gonna be cutting well obviously if we measure from here to there it will be too short okay so what I do I go from here I do a curve okay it's it's approximately okay if it's a bit too long it doesn't matter okay so I've got approximately this now I will measure it and we've got about 
17, 18 centimeters. Okay, so if you cut that, you should be good. Okay, so I will cut the four like that at that length, and then we'll prepare them with all this. I've now cut them all to size and uh, removed the end parts. What we do, we just twist it slightly, okay? Because mine are a bit thick, uh, I won't place something inside because that would be even thicker, okay? Uh, I will place it directly inside. If your cable is a bit thinner, maybe you can do that as well, huh? just to make sure that it's nice and tight. So once it's done, you press it like that nicely until it goes in you see my mine is nice and snug okay and then you crimp it that's it done now it will never move okay so i do that with the rest the glow plugs are now fitted and now we're gonna remove, you know, here the cable for the earth. For this, we're gonna use an Allen uh, number six, okay? And you either completely remove it or you loosen it and you clip one into the other, okay? If you want to leave it there. And uh, once it's done, now we're gonna connect all the cables one with another, and finally the the positive. It's now all fitted. We've got the earth cable here all the connections are made it's perfect let's now fit back the fuel lines of course when you're gonna place back the fuel lines don't forget to bleed the system eh? i've made a video on this before so you can watch it if you want to uh, you will also have to reconnect the uh, what connects to the accelerator and of course don't forget to put that little bit eh, to hold the line once it's done you just connect the battery and that will be it okay so I hope that you have liked the video, stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see each other in the next one. Take care.